Hello everyone, Minion here. Today we have another live performance by Morissette on the 107.5 Wish Bus. We'll be reacting to her cover of Secret Love Song by Little Mix. Now, I'm pretty familiar with the original um, and it's a good song. Um, in fact, I, I listened to it again just before this uh, reaction so um, that it's kind of fresh in my memory. So let's see what Morissette has in store for us. Hey, wishers, this is Morissette. Don't miss any wish exclusive videos. Nice Click smile. here to subscribe. Seems really petty. When you hold me in the street and you kiss me on the dance floor. She just hits you right away with that that tone. That, oh, it's just, it's so soothing. I wish that we could be like that. What can we be like that? Cause I'm yours. Wish 107.5. We keep behind closed doors. Every time I see you, I die. So much vocal control. I mean, she just really understands her instrument. Um, her tone is just so rich and deep. Uh, she's able to hop up into that high head voice just seamlessly. Um, I also love the the intro. Um, there's just a little bit of keyboard in the background and it just really allows her voice to shine through. It's obvious you're Bring in the me. Every piece of you it just fits perfectly. Every second, every thought I'm in so deep. But I'll never show it all. She's enjoying this so much. Um, nice run there, clear articulation. She's really in the groove right now. Um, and the, the the slight slow vibrato on the chorus is, is amazing. Um, and then uh, she just makes it look so effortless too. It's great singers often do that. Oh, that little vocal break again um it just again placed perfectly just exudes so much emotion um and then what's interesting about this second verse too is that she uh, she throw in all these these little runs and it really varies it up so it sounds similar to the melody in the first verse but becomes dynamically very different um again so smooth do you call her name like you do when you're with me? Does it feel the same? Would you leave if I was ready to sit all down? Would you play it safe and stay? But you know.
the, the, the dynamics and uh, the emotion just if if you can't feel this i i don't know why you're listening to music if you don't feel anything um i, I don't think you know this is my second morissette song and in both cases just just a huge amount of emotion coming through in her singing seriously have you heard anything better than that i mean the the getting so soft just bringing you in and then ramp it up and then we get multiple squeaks in there um get placed perfectly to really transfer that emotion um and on that belt like she's got more power than that, but you can tell she's just holding it back a little bit, you know. Um, and of course, another nice run. Wow. Closes it nice and and soft um, after that that super belt um, with a squeak. So, wow. Um, so she did a cover of Against All Odds. Okay, um, I love both the original Phil Collins version of that song and Mariah Carey's cover of that song. So I'm going to have to check out Against All Odds. But um, let's talk about this song. Now, this song is incredibly catchy. And when I heard the original uh, from Little Mix, I thought it was very good. Um, but there were a couple things I didn't like about the original. Um, first, uh, I think it's uh, Jessica, Jessie. Um, I'm not really a fan of her voice. Um, I know she left the group last year, and I wish her all the best, but um, her voice just sounded kind of off to me, um, kind of like audio cutting in and out. Um, and I don't know if she was doing it just to try to invoke some emotion, um, but to me it just sounded like her, her, her voice couldn't go there. Um, so it just sounded off. And then, uh, Jason Derulo's part is just kind of all right to me. Um, the issue I have with that part is the, the auto tune or the effect that they have on his voice is, um, it, I, to me, it takes away the emotion. It makes it colder. And this is a song that really benefits from, from emotion right it's a 
That's what the story is about. Um, Morissette's version is more like uh, I think on on Little Mix's deluxe album. There's a there's another version of this song that's piano, and it's just all the female voices, um, and that's more similar to what this version is. But again, I like the arrangement of this version where they ditch the piano and just have some keyboard and then kick up the beat. And it's just, it's really simple and it really allows, again, allows her voice to, to shine. Um, so, I mean, no disrespect, but this version by Morissette is so much better than the original, in, in my opinion. Um, you know, I think it comes down to one singular perspective is easier to relate to. And sometimes groups with multiple voices, you know, they take their turns in singing the song. And that can also be kind of jarring because like in a duet where you have a male and a female voice, it's easy to tell that when the male kicks in that he's singing from the male's perspective. Um, so it's easy to catch, but when you have multiple female voices switching up and singing different parts, um, and they have distinct different voices, so you know it's a different person singing, it it's jarring to me. Um, and you know, it's a little different if there's if you have like one of them singing and then the rest are singing a harmony of some sort. But you know, in in the original, it's not really the case, um, and. I will say that the live versions that I've heard, like I, I saw a video of Little Mix singing, um, like just three of them singing it um, on some show last year, and um, and that was better, I think, than the studio, original studio version for me. Um, so, you know, uh, the Morissette also is able to invoke that emotion with the, the texture and the tone of her voice. And that just takes the song to another level. Um, this sounded more like uh, her song, Morissette's song. And, you know, it's, it's, you know, that's something that's hard to do, right? Um, to cover someone else's song and kind of make it your own. And, you know, Morissette definitely did that. And um, now that I've heard this version, I don't think I'll ever be able to listen to the Little Mix version without saying, yeah, that's all right, but it's not the best version I've heard. Morissette's is clearly the best version of the song I've I've heard, and I've heard a lot of people cover the song. So um, absolutely wonderful. Absolutely loved it. Thank you for listening with me, and please give me a like if you enjoyed the content. If you have a special Morissette song that is your favorite that I haven't reacted to yet, please comment below and let me know. Thank you.